Meanwhile, 23 seats, that's what Democrats need to regain control of the House. And one of the many races on many people's radar is Texas's 22nd congressional district. Yeah, the incumbent Republican Pete Olson has held uh, his seat for nearly a decade now. He's facing a challenge this time from Democrats Free Cool Carney. We have our Robert Arnold covering the race for you tonight. He's joining us live from a polling place in Richmond. Robert? A lot of last-minute donations have poured into this race. As you say, Congressman Pete Olson has held on to this seat for the last decade. His Democratic challenger is new to politics, but certainly not new to public service. A final push to engage voters in the waning hours of an election seeing record turnout. Probably the biggest challenges are getting people who usually aren't being spoken to by anybody, Democrat or Republican. This is the first time Shri Kulkarni has run for office. For 14 years, he served as a foreign service officer and then as a foreign policy and defense advisor on Capitol Hill. He says what he believes is an unhealthy division in our country is what spurred him to run for office. Right now, my country's in danger, not from a certain person or a certain party, but the tension that's ripping our society apart right now. Pictures posted to his campaign social media accounts show Congressman Pete Olson also talking with voters in the final hours of the election. The retired naval aviator has easily won his last four elections in a district that remains largely Republican. His campaign was unable to provide KPRC with his day's itinerary or a time to meet with the congressman ahead of the polls closing. The candidates have been neck and neck in fundraising over the last year. Campaign filings show Olson raised $1.4 million to Kulkarni's $1.1 million just in the last week. More than $11,000 was donated to Olson's campaign, with Kulkarni's campaign taking in nearly 44000 Congressman Olson will be having his election night party here in Richmond, while Mr. Kulkarni will have his election night party in Sugarland, And we're going to be bouncing back and forth between the two camps to keep you updated as the election results come in. Reporting live from Richmond, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.